Do you feel overly sensitive? Are your thoughts scattered around? Does it seem like no matter what you do, you end up where you started? Well, there's a big chance that the universe might be trying to tell you something. So today, let's talk signs and how to recognize them. Now, whatever your belief system is, whether that's more sciencey or more spiritual, or you are kind of in between like I am, I think this video can help you a lot by letting you know what are the little situations in your life that are telling you something's off. You need to change something, you need to listen, you need to kind of pivot a little bit. So let's get into it. There isn't really one word. I looked it up, like there were several words, but I think each of us can define that word a little bit differently. It's that feeling of your thoughts are scattered you know, you don't really feel at peace. You're kind of flying around. You're neither here or there. It's kind of like a very unsettling feeling. And I think this in general is a huge sign in your life that something is off. Like you're kind of disconnected from maybe your focus, your goal, your path. If you are feeling like this, and I'm not talking about a day or sometimes a week, but you feel like this is kind of a long period of time, this is a very strong sign in my experience that you need to take a step back and really evaluate your life and your daily decisions and how you treat your passions, your goals, your dreams. This is the first sign to take a step back if you feel the total opposite of grounded. This is very much coming from my own personal experience. Every single time where I have kind of pivoted away from my journey, my happiness, my goal and my purpose, or kind of just that feeling when you know that everything is fine and you're on your path. Every single time I become more anxious and vulnerable and it's almost like I'm kind of like an open book, but not in one of those good ways, but in a way where every single opinion can get to me, you know, little things make me cry. I feel just too vulnerable. And I think it happens, especially, as I said, when we pivot away from where we're supposed to be. Again, everything, take everything into context because human emotions are very, very complex. If there has been a tragedy in your life, obviously you will be sensitive. If let's say you are on your period, you're a woman, you're on your period, you will be hypersensitive. So take things into context. I think as women in general, you know, I can't speak for men, but I can speak for women. If we follow what our intuition, we can feel that something is off. I use the word, you know, universe, I use the word intuition, um, but a lot of these things also are kind of like logical. If you're not that spiritual or you don't really believe and all of that stuff. You can also just look at it from a logical side. If you are sensitive a lot, if you're crying, that is a sign that something in your life, in your world is a little bit off. Here's the thing, the longer we neglect that feeling, the kind of worse it gets. So whether you think it's a sign from the universe or your body, it doesn't really matter. What matters is, is that you pay attention to that sign and just ask yourself like what is going on this is a very interesting one and i actually first learned about it as a concept from my dad i think it was i don't know a, a long time ago but he told me he said if there are several situations in your life where just weirdly, no matter what you do, let's say you have a specific idea or a goal, you want to go somewhere or reach something, and no matter what you do, you keep being hit with these very weird things where you just, you can't reach it no matter what you do, it might be a big sign that you're not doing what you're supposed to do. And here's where I wanna be perfectly clear because I think it might be confusing for some people. I'm not talking about regular difficulties. So regular difficulties, let's say you're trying to learn 
a new language, okay? And sometimes you forget the words, sometimes it's not going the way you want it, you know, it's taking a lot of work. As with anything, don't take it as a sign. Oh, I'm not supposed to learn a new language. No, that's part of life. Difficulties will come. But I will give you another example. Let's say you have decided to you know, travel to a specific country and your boarding ticket or some kind of a ticket suddenly is not valid out of nowhere. Let's say you lose your passport. Let's say you keep seeing weird things about that country that is stopping you from getting there. Like I'm kind of making these up from this moment. So I don't know if these were the best examples, but I hope I'm giving you a clear kind of distinction between two. There's a difference between going through regular difficulties that are needed for you to succeed and instances where it's just like, no matter what you do, your life is like, nope, don't go there. So again, take everything with a grain of salt and listen to this thing inside. This is such a powerful thing. But if you feel like no matter what you do, no matter how much effort you, like you plan everything perfectly and things just keep like, not going your way, this might be a very clear sign from the universe that you're not supposed to do this. So again, this, all of this I'm giving to you, you have to go through it to, through your own lens. No one else will be able to tell you if that's a difficulty or it's just like, you're hitting that wall. You have to take everything into context and you have to listen. I personally have experienced it like these things uh, in the past, especially when I was younger, where, where weird stuff would happen. And now later in my life, I see that it was kind of a clear sign that I was not supposed to take that path, but I didn't listen. And in the end, I still didn't kind of end up where I wanted to because I think I wasn't supposed to. And from now, from this age 25, I can very clearly distinct between something like that and difficulties. And I gotta tell you, because more and more I'm following my path and I'm very, very clear on what I wanna do, how I wanna live my life, I rarely ever, you know, get that feeling of kind of hitting a wall, but I do get it. I do get it at moments where I drift away from my focus in life and who I'm supposed to be. And that's exactly, those exactly are the moments where I feel like I'm hitting a wall. No matter what I do, I keep hitting a wall and it gets like frustrating and frustrating. And all of that is because I have drifted away my focus. So obviously at those moments, I know what the universe is trying to sell me or you know, my body or the world. But uh, if you don't know, or if you're lost, this definitely is that sign that can tell you that girl or boy, you're kind of, you're not going where you're supposed to be. So uh, listen and pay attention. You can add logic to everything, always. You've probably seen the movies, you know, thrillers or horror movies and the main character is like, this is happening and this is happening and their friend or a boyfriend always has a logic explanation for everything. But again, this is where your heart plays a bigger role. If you feel like just weird stuff is happening, like weird coincidences, this actually goes back to the travel thing I mentioned, you know, just weird stuff that are kind of like happening at the same time you thought about something, you know, you mentioned something, you see it immediately. Not always you have to go as big as the universe. Sometimes it's basic intuition, you know, basic psychology. When you feel something is not okay inside, um, but you don't wanna kind of admit it consciously, you will sometimes see it like around on TV or hear about it or whatever, because your body, your brain, your mental world is very, very smart and it will put things forward in your eyes. It will make things happen for you to see something. So if there are weird coincidences in your life that are kind of like scary, to go into or tap, and this again is coming from my personal experience where I felt like, I think this might be connected, but no, it's a coincidence, it's a coincidence because you don't wanna believe it. And in the end, it turns out that yeah, these things happen because again, the universe was trying to tell you something or just like your consciousness was trying to tell you something. Listen, once you have these four signs, this is where you can take that step back and really evaluate your life and don't, 
you know, think that your life will immediately be resolved. These things take time, but it's important that you catch the signs. And number five, the bonus sign, because I just love to add bonus signs and tips and things in my videos. You are seeing vivid dreams, signs, and symbols. This is for my, how do I say, more connected friends, you know, connected people to the universe. People who really experience vivid dreams with almost weird meanings. Um, and by weird, I mean like things that you know, you can later see in life, but you see in your dreams, you know, like little kind of paranormal stuff as well. If you're seeing symbols, if you're seeing signs, again, you can play this from the logical side, you can play this from the universe side, but it doesn't matter because it's all about how you interpret it. You know, even if it's your psychology playing tricks on you, it means that something is bothering you inside if you're seeing that outside let's say there's a specific number that means a lot to you and uh, for specific reasons again and you're suddenly seeing it everywhere does it matter if it's the universe sending the number or it's your consciousness it doesn't matter because the result is the same which is it's coming from somewhere inside of you and it's trying to tell you that something needs to be addressed something needs to be rearranged or moved so here's your little bonus sign pay attention dream symbol signs none of that is random it's all about how you look at those things let me know in the comments if you've experienced any kind of signs from the universe that you feel like are signs okay let's not get again logical there's always a logical side in my brain that's like oh it's just psychology it's not universe it doesn't matter if you feel like it's the universe then it's the universe so let me know i definitely want to hear some interesting stories if you have them thanks again for watching i hope you found this video valuable and interesting and i will see you next time bye